What is inside this vial could kill you almost instantly. In fact, this much would kill you and I if we split it. It's odorless, tasteless, and it's currently being disguised as nearly any drug you can buy off the street. This is fentanyl. Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that is a hundred times stronger than morphine and about 50 times the strength of heroin. Fentanyl has sedative effects and will rapidly slow down a person's breathing. Just a milligram too much of fentanyl can result in hypoxia, a decrease of oxygen to the brain, and can quickly lead to death. Sounds more like a poison than a drug. If you were to ingest fentanyl and live, your body would begin having withdrawals within a few hours. Fentanyl is one of the most addictive substances known to man. It is also rather cheap to produce considering its potency, which is why it is being used in all types of illicit drugs. Pills, cocaine, methamphetamine, MDMA, even some instances of marijuana. Illegal drugs have been forever changed because of fentanyl. The most notable are the fake prescription pills. In 2021, the DEA alone seized over 20 million fake prescription pills made of fentanyl. These pills, designed to look exactly like prescription drugs such as oxycodone, Percocet, Xanax, Adderall, and more, contain nothing but fentanyl in a colored binder and are pressed to look just like the pills you would get from a pharmacy. The difference, though, is a matter of life or death. The DEA has reported over 42% of pills tested for fentanyl contain a potentially lethal dose. So maybe it's not the first pill someone takes, but one shortly after. Over the past few years, there has been enough fentanyl seized to kill every person in the United States. Fentanyl is being found everywhere in almost every drug, but you won't know it's there until it's too late. Your decision to not try a drug is one of the most important decisions that you can make. Over time, pop culture seems to glorify drugs more and more. Drugs have been promoted as solutions to mental health struggles like depression and anxiety. Trying drugs has been normalized as something that is just part of going through life. In reality, it is something that will take your life from you. With fentanyl's increasing prevalence in nearly all drugs today, promoting drug use is one of the most dangerous messages an influential person can communicate, especially to young people. The glamorous lifestyle associated with drug use is a facade. Many famous people suffer brutal addictions behind the scenes and fentanyl is exposing that truth. More and more great artists, athletes, and talents are falling to fentanyl. With them are many others who fell for the lie that using illicit drugs can solve any pain or problem in your life. It is a lie you must be smart enough to see through. Fentanyl is a death trap that very few escape once they enter into it. Do not be deceived. Fentanyl has turned drug dealers into death dealers, and today's easy access to drugs means that a dealer could be anybody. Most illicit drug sales today happen online and over social media. Many of the drug death stories I've encountered are of teens and young adults who bought a pill or a bit of cocaine and had it delivered to their family's house. A lot of times it was from somebody that they knew. Let's make this clear. It does not matter how well you think you know someone. It does not matter if they tell you the drug that they have is really what they say it is. You both do not know if fentanyl is in that drug until it is too late. Just because you've seen a friend try a drug, or even if you've tried something before, does not mean it's going to be safe. These drugs are not coming from a pharmacy or a lab with quality control. These drugs are being blended together by random people who do not care about you and bagged up for a quick profit. What seems like a safe dose could contain enough fentanyl to kill multiple people simply because of how carelessly these drugs are made. Again, you won't know until it's too late. Fentanyl is now the leading cause of death for young people in the United States. Some are looking for relief, some for a good time, many are just curious and make a stupid mistake. Had they known fentanyl was in the drugs they took, they never would have done it. But they can't take that choice back now. You, though, have a choice to make for your life. You may struggle sometimes and feel like you need help. You may get curious or tempted to try a drug. Remember that feelings are temporary, but some decisions can last forever. You always have the opportunity to choose something greater, something that will give you life and not death. I encourage you today to realize how precious your life is and that one choice is all it takes to throw it away. Please do not do it. Remember that you have a purpose. You have gifts and passions that are unique to you. You were made to have a future. You can live an amazing life without ever touching a drug. Just keep going after the things you know are right. 
things that are good for you. You'll be an example for your friends and you can encourage them too. In the beginning of summer in 2020, I came across this article. A 14-year-old kid from a town I grew up in had died from what appeared to be a drug overdose. He's a smart, funny guy who, like many kids, was struggling with some anxiety issues and decided that he would turn to drugs to see if he could help himself with that. What happened was he went and bought this pill, this Oxycontin pill, from a guy he had known because he thought that pill might ease the pain of what he was going through mentally. Well, he didn't know it, but that Oxycontin pill wasn't a real Oxycontin pill. It was a fake pill. It looked just like the pill that he wanted to try, but instead of Oxycontin, it was made with fentanyl, a synthetic opioid known to be 50 to 100 times the strength of morphine. Back in 2013, when it first started showing up, only about 3% of drug users were dying from it. Now we're looking at over 50% of drug deaths being attributed to fentanyl. If Alexander could have got a lesson, I wish he knew about fentanyl. I wish he understood that fentanyl poisoning is real and that every time you try something, you're, you're playing with your life. I wish I could just shake you and tell you and make it real for you. But I don't know how to do that. I won't be there when you're faced with these decisions. I know that if he knew the effects of his passing, it would crush him. He never intended for me to find him on his bedroom floor. He never intended for his dad to administer CPR trying to save his life while we were waiting for the paramedics. Even his 12-year-old sister wanted to run in there and try to help do CPR, but I held her back. You could be the friend that saves someone's life by keeping them from making a big mistake. Please share it. If you're a parent or guardian and you want to learn more about how you can educate and protect your children from fentanyl poisoning, then I need you to head over to naturalhigh.org slash fentanyl right now. The images that I'm left with of that day replay in my mind on a regular basis. Please do not put your family through this. And please, 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 I beg of you, learn about fentanyl now. Hi, this is Roman Gabriel president of the Sold Out Youth Foundation. For more information on fentanyl, go to www.soldouttv.com and click on Fentanyl Education at the top right of the page. That's soldouttv.com.